Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today I'm going to use my LK150 knitting machine to knit a heart shape. There are two curves on top of the heart and we are going to do one side at a time and then connect to the other side and then continue to the tip of the heart. So we are actually going to knit it upside down this way. And I'm going to use median weight, the worsted weight yarn, and I'm going to use tension 9 on my carriage. And uh, upper tension, I use 7. I'm going to start with 5 stitches because I can use these two stitches as a lace holes. I'm just going to use simple e rub cast on. Thread a yarn and knit two rows. Hand my weight. Now I'm going to do the first transfer. And that's the second stitch from each side. I'm going to move to the first stitch. So there will be an empty needle and I will keep the needle in the B position so you will knit back. And the same on the left side, transfer to the first stitch and then place the empty needle to B. And now we need two rows. And you can see we create two holes. Next, we want to increase to create a curved line. So I can just move the outer stitch, one stitch outward. And this way, the second stitch is already empty. And again, we keep it in the B position for normal knitting. And the same on the right. Move one stitch out and keep the empty needle in the B for plain stitch and knit two rows. Depends on how big you want your heart to be, you can continue increase. This will be one part of the heart. So I will do one more increase. and two more rows. Now I have nine stitches and that will be the one side of this curve. And now we are going to repeat again for the other side. And between the two curved lines, I want to add one more stitch in the center. Now we just need to cut off the yarn, leaving the tail so we can weave in later. And for this side, you can take it off the machine. You can knead a few rows of waist yarn and take it off machine. Or you can use the yarn needle and a piece of yarn to take it off the machine. And we'll repeat the same. We'll start with five stitches and e rub need two rows and my weight and transfer the second stitch to the first leave the empty needle in the B transfer the second stitch to the first on the right and the empty needle stay in the B you can always pull it out all the way so it's easier to knit. And then knit two rows. And then we'll start increase by transferring the outermost stitch out and leave the empty needle in the B position. The same on the right, transfer and knit two rows. 
and we'll repeat again. Need two rows. Now we have nine stitches that's matching our first one. And now we can start placing this piece back next to it and make sure the back side is facing us. And before we place it back, we want to add one stitch in the center. So this is the center needle. And then we have nine stitches. Place the stitches back to the needle. I can take out the waist yarn. And for the center stitch, pick out the next stitch. There's a horizontal bar. Just like when we're doing the increase, we we'll pick up the horizontal bar and hand it to the empty stitch in the middle. And I will do the same on the other side. Pick up the horizontal bar. So this way it's more balanced. There will be two stitches in the empty needle. And I will push all the needles out. Make sure you hand the weight. You can do one more increase or you can keep the same size. It's up to you. If you want to do an increase, you can just transfer one stitch out on both sides. Or if you want to keep the same size, you transfer the second stitch to the first stitch on the edge and keep the empty needle in the B position. I will increase one more time here and keep the empty needle in the B or you can push all the way out so you will be knitted. And in the same here, transfer one stitch out, keep everything in the D and now we can knit two rows. And now I'm going to Keep it the same without increase or decrease for one more time and then I will start decrease. So if we keep the same stitch count, I'm going to transfer the second stitch to the first. So the hole will be in the second stitch and I will leave the needle in B. The same here. The empty needle in the B position and knee two rows. That's what we have so far. Now we are ready to decrease. I'm going to move the outermost stitch in and leave the first empty needle back to A so we are not going to need it anymore. And now the second needle we want to create a hole so Transfer the needle to the third stitch and keep the empty needle in B. And the same on the left side, we reduce one stitch by transfer to the next stitch and take the empty needle to A. And we want to create a hole here, so transfer that stitch to the third and leave the needle in B. Now we will need two rows. And I will keep repeating that until we are at the end, the tip part. Reduce one stitch. Create a hole. Reduce one stitch. Create a hole. And two rows. Now I have the last five stitches. I just did the transfer with the two holes here and I'm going to need two rows. And we'll keep reducing to 
to the next stitch to the next stitch now we only have three stitches I want the center one to become a hole so I can transfer to either left or right and need two rows and now I will just transfer the first and the third stitch to the center so we have three stitches on this needle need two rows and cut the yarn so that's a hard after we take it off the machine it's kind of curly because it's knitting so I'm going to spray some water and block it and weave in the yarn ends so that's the final hard shape if you want it more sturdy you can sew a fabric back in thank you so much for watching today and see you in the next video